Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the circuit breaker and cable size calculation for capacitor bank. The circuit breaker calculation for the capacitor bank is quite different from the normal loads. As the normal loads are resistive and inductive in nature, but the capacitor bank is in capacitive in nature. For the normal load which is resistive and inductive in nature have the lagging power factor but the capacitor bank have leading power factor. As we know that if we have power factor near to unity then our system will be more efficient. But in practical situation the load which is connected with electrical system is all are inductive and resistive in nature. These inductive load making the power factor of the electrical installation from 1 to lower value like 0 0.8, 0 0.7 and other values as the inductive loads are lagging in nature. If we will add some load which have the leading nature then the load which is leading in nature will compensate with the load which having lagging nature and in that way the power factor of the electrical installation will improve. All the inductive loads have lagging nature and the capacitive load are leading in nature. So the trick is to improve the power factor is that wherever there is more inductive load we will add the capacitive load in order to compensate it. Here from this triangle you can understand it more better which I am discussing. Suppose this is my active power and this is the reactive power when I don't have any capacitor. All are inductive load. If we will add one capacitor bank then, then it will compensate this amount of reactive power from the system and the final reactive power will be this much. If the reactive power is more then the power factor will be poor and as we connected the capacitor bank the reactive power become low so the power factor automatically become more that is near to unity. Hope you got this capacitor bank concept. If you want to know in deep how to calculate the capacitor bank size, watch my video sizing of capacitor bank, link will be in the description below. Now let us move to our original topic that is how to size the circuit breaker and cable for the capacitor bank. For that I have taken one example, this is my LB panel and this is the capacitor bank. If you want to know how I calculated the capacitor bank size as 400 kVAR then watch my video which is the link will be in the description below. But here in this video my motive is to calculate the, the breaker rating for this capacitor bank and the cable size for this capacitor bank. So from this SLD what are the data available is that the capacitor bank size is 400 kVAR. And the second data available is that it is a three phase so the voltage is 400 volt. So I tabulated this information here. The KVAR rating is 400, voltage is 400 watt and the frequency is 50 Hz. The formula to calculate the current in the capacitor bank is I for the capacitor bank is equal to KVAR per unit divided by root 3 into kilo volt per unit. Here the KVAR value is 400 and the voltage in kilovolt is 0 0.40 kilovolt. So I substituted this value 400 divided by root 3 into 0 .0, 0 0.400 kilovolt. When we calculated this value it will come as 577.4 ampere. So this is the current which will flow through the capacitor bank. But this capacitor current is not very accurate as this current is depend on many factors also. These factors are capacitor tolerance, voltage tolerance, frequency tolerance and harmonic tolerance. So let us explain one by one in order to understand it more clearly. As per the IEEE standard, the capacitor tolerance is in between 0 to 10 percent and as per the IEC standard that capacitor tolerance is 15 percent. What does it mean? Suppose we have 100 kVAR capacitor. Then due to its tolerance this capacitor can be behave as 115 kVAR capacitor. So suppose 
I place a capacitor bank which having a rating of 100 kVAR but this capacitor have 15 percent tolerance then it will behave like a 115 kVA trans uh, capacitor. So when this value will change then the capacitor current will change if previously if this value is 100 and as that due to the capacitor tolerance it became as 115 then the capacitor current also will change. That's why I said this current is depending on many factor. One of them is the capacitor tolerance. Now let us move to another value that is the voltage tolerance. As we know that from the power utility sectors we get the power supply with a voltage of 400 volt with plus minus 5 or plus minus 10 percent tolerance. If the voltage will change then the current of capacitor will change. As we know that here there is a volt in this formula. So if the voltage will change from 400 to 405 or 410 then the current capacitor current value will also change. Hope you can relate with this formula. Now let us move to another factor that is the frequency tolerance. As we know that the Xc is equal to capacitive reactance is equal to 2 pi Fc. So the reactance of the capacitor depending upon the frequency. But in the modern days the frequency is very constant so we can ignore the frequency tolerance as in modern power system we are getting a fixed frequency without any tolerance. But of course if you have encountered with such power system where the frequency have some tolerance like from 1% to 5% then we have to consider the frequency tolerance also. Now let us move to the another factor that is harmonics. Due to the non-linear load in the electrical installation there will be always an harmonic in electrical system and this capacitor providing a very low impedance path for this harmonic. So the harmonic also affect the capacitor current and it will be from 20% to 35% of its rated current means harmonic can change the rated current of the capacitor by 20% to 35%. Hope you got these factor which is affecting the capacitor current. The capacitor tolerance, voltage tolerance, frequency tolerance and harmonics. Now what we have to do? Suppose we consider that the capacitor have 15% tolerance and there is a 10% voltage tolerance. Frequency tolerance I neglected as there is no frequency changing in the power system and 20% tolerance I accepted for harmonics. So what would be the tolerance factor? So the factor would be 1.15 into 1.10 into 1.20. For 15% I wrote 1.15, for 10% I wrote 1.10 and for 20% I wrote 1.20. Why I wrote for 15% 1.15? Because this 15% percent is adding on the rated current. Suppose rated current is 100 ampere then 15 percent of 100 ampere will be this 100 ampere plus this 15 ampere. So we will add this one that's why I wrote 1.15 same explanation will be valid for 1.10 and same explanation will be valid for 1.20 hope you are not confused with this basic math. So the total factor is 1.518 as we see here the overall factor came as 1.18. In many times we are taking directly the factor as 1.3 to 1.5. But as here I calculated step by step this factor so I will use the same factor for my calculation. So the breaker final breaker rating will be this factor 1.518 into the capacitor current which we calculated here. So the breaker rating will come as 876.5 ampere but we are not getting this ampere rating breakers so we will go for the next standard breaker rating that is 1000 ampere breaker. So the final selected breaker is 1000 ampere. My intention in this video is to build your concept to calculate the breaker rating for the capacitor bank. That's why I explained you the different factor which is affecting the capacitor continuous current that is capacitor tolerance, voltage tolerance, frequency tolerance and harmonic in order to get this factor. But when you are calculate when you are going to calculate any capacitor bank circuit breaker then you can directly take this factor. Here I explained you from where we are getting this factor. 
as we got the final selected breaker as 100 ampere then from the cable ampacity chart we can get the value of the cables here the cable we have to choose which can carry a current of 1000 ampere so let us check the technical data sheet cable ampacity chart here you can see that the 240 square mm cable can carry a current of 430 ampere so if we will choose 3 run of 240 square mm cable then it will carry a current more than 1200 ampere so this 240 square mm cable of 3 run will be our best choice we can go for 3 run of 300 square mm also as the current ampacity of 3 run of 300 square mm also is greater than 1000 but it will cost you more we can go for 3 run of 185 square mm cable also as the total current ampacity of 3 run of 185 square mm cable will be 3 into 364 ampere which is 1094 ampere which is greater than our required current but as this chart is prepared on the standard condition that is 30 degree celsius and the temperature is 70 degree celsius but in practical situation our condition will be different and the ambient temperature may be higher so it is safer to use a higher size of cable rather than to choose a cable which have a very close with our calculated breaker rating so what would be the best choice cable for us so the final cable size is 3 run of 4 core 240 square mm cable so from this in this SLD we can say that the breaker rating for this capacitor bank is 1000 ampere which we calculated and the cable size is 3 run of 4 core 240 square mm XLP cable and the earth cable will be half of it 3 run of 1 core 120 square mm cable ECC cable hope you find this video informative and you learn something new from this video if you really like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other informative video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much